Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic wherever you are. In this edition, I talk about composting toilets. Uh, basically, a lot of folks out there that want to go out boondocking or for an extended period of time out in the middle of nowhere where they don't have access to dump sites would like the idea of a uh, quality uh, composting toilet. Some of these composting toilets claim to uh, go uh, you know, a month or two before you even have to do any dumps. Some say 60 days. That's a long time before having to take your uh, bucket of uh, compost material and getting rid of it. That's quite a while. Typically, when I go camping, I uh, have to empty the black tank at least once a week. Sometimes if I stretch it, maybe two weeks, but not two months. That's quite a while. So uh, there are various models out there. I picked five from a very rudimentary, just one step above a basically a simple porta potty where they uh, say you only it'll only last maybe a few days for, you know, this little simple compost toilet. I think it's perfect for like tent camping, uh, truck bed camping and stuff like that. If you have a little tent for your uh, to, to take care of business. OK. But if you want something more complex, I have other examples. I have examples for you from $219 to over $1,000. I have five examples. Hope you find this useful. Again, I haven't tested any of these composting toilets. I, uh, I do have a porta potty and I have a regular black tank, you know, toilet situation with my Dometic in my travel trailer. And I've used both on many on occasion. So, the basic uh, premise of this video is I'm giving you information, okay? I'm giving you information that you can run with, I'm giving you five examples uh, from basic to more complex, from inexpensive to rather, you know, over a thousand bucks, okay? So it's general information. I'm gonna have links in the description to the uh, my Amazon affiliate. So if you wanna buy one and say, hey, I'm gonna look at it and see if it's worth anything. And if I don't like it, I'm just gonna return it. I'm gonna call it good. Hey, that doesn't look right, okay? Or you can say, this thing is rather sturdy. This thing looks like it can do the job. Of course, some of you, some of you are, you know, very delicate, very small bone, and rather, you know, easy on the toilet. You're rather easy on the toilet. But then there's others of you which are rather large and significant people, powerful people, and you, and you require a better toilet. So there's a whole range from basic, easy going toilet, to a strong, sturdy toilet and more expensive toilet. So I have a range there. Again, I haven't tested any of these toilets. I haven't sat on these to any of these toilets. I haven't assembled any of these toilets. I haven't uh, used, again, any of these toilets. I'm just giving you introductory information. Hope you find it useful. Hope you find it useful. Again, I'm gonna have d uh, you know links in the description, uh, my Amazon affiliate links. And if you uh, decide, hey, I'm gonna buy one of these. I'm gonna look at it, open the box and say, hey, this is fantastic. I'm going to use it, install it in my RV or use it in my camp, you know, my tent, my pop-up tent, my, uh, you know, any kind of tent that you have, gigantic tent, small tent, you know, uh, you know, a toilet tent. Some people have a toilet tent. I've had a toilet tent when I was truck bed camping, I had a tent where I only had a toilet in my little porta potty in. So you can use it for many situations, these uh, composting toilets. Again, the first model is basically just one step above a porta potty, very basic, very very rudimentary, and uh, you might find it still quite useful. And then you have the more you know complex, very robust, well built ones, and uh, you know you might find those more valuable for installing in an RV, be it a motorhome, or a travel trailer, or a fifth wheel. It's up to you. Okay. Again, I'll have this you know the information. Uh, the links, the Amazon affiliate links in the description. Of course, every time you purchase something from Amazon and you go to my links, you click on it, click, it uh, helps me out a little bit. I would, I greatly appreciate uh, your uh, assistance for this channel. You know, you help me out here, okay? So hope you like this video. If you have any comments, questions, you have any questions, and you know, especially if you use any of these toys, says, hey, I I have this one. I really like it. It's lasted you know, for at least a couple of years now, and it's fantastic. Again, I don't expect most of these toilets 
to last more than two, three, four, five years. Some of the more expensive ones, probably five years or so. Most of them, you know, will start to discolor and start to scratch because they're made out of plastic. None of these, zero, zero, zero are ceramic. Okay, none of them, they're all plastic. Okay. And different qualities of plastic. So when you watch the videos, you go, oh, that one looks okay. That one, I'm a little uh, nebulous on that one. Hope you find this useful. And if you have any questions, again, leave your kind and friendly comments uh, below. From Fort Worth, Texas, I'm going to get going with this video and show you the first one up is my Boxio. Let's get started with the Boxio. This is the least expensive of the uh, composting toilets. It's a glorified uh, porta potty. It's uh, very inexpensive, at uh, $219. At that price, you can get two or three of them, huh? So it says it's a hygienic solid waste container, 1.32 gallons, a leak-proof uh, urine canister of 1.32 gallons also. It's made from uh, recycled plastic. And it has a compact size, and uh, you can use it about eight or 10 times, the little bag that you put inside the bucket, you throw a little bit of that boxio hemp or whatever kind of composting material you want, and it's good for eight or 10 times. That's about it. Next up is uh, Trellino. Sounds Italian, but it's a German company that makes this uh, very nice uh, portable uh, composting toilet. What do you think of it? Here's some of the information about it. It says it's separate, empty, and easy clean, environmentally friendly, and resource efficient. You can't complain about that. And it comes in various iterations and different price points. And of course, these prices as of today, they do change. Prices do change. It's shocking, but the prices do change. So what do you think of the Trellino? Again, uh, it comes in different iterations, different sizes, different capacities. What's not to like about that? We're going to go up in price a bit uh, to $780, the Compo Closet Cutty. Seems very well built, has uh, handles on the top and bottom. Odor control, and uh, according to the folks here, it has no smells. No kidding. I'll um, have to smell it to believe it. And uh, it has a lot of great features like innovative design to maximize your tiny space. So if you have a van and you're limited in space, this might be a fantastic choice. And for 984 American dollars, you can buy this one here, the OGO, OGO. Very nice, I like the design. It has a little button on the side that checks your liquid level and also will start the uh, machine uh, rotating and uh, mixing up your, al uh, <laughs> your number two with whatever you have in there. The Nature's Head composting toilet, been around for quite a while, very reliable unit. It goes for 1,030 bucks. It's probably made in the USA, has all stainless steel hardware. You can't go wrong with that. It's the biggest and the heaviest of all these units we talked about, but I'm pretty sure you can't go wrong with a nature's head. So in summation, uh, here are the price points. Uh, the box here was a relatively inexpensive uh, composting toilet. If you can call it that, for 219, the Trellino's 520, the Compo Closet Cuddy is 780, and the Ogo, Ogo is 384, and of course the Nature's Head, the top of the line unit, is $1,030. Thanks for checking out my video. Hope you found it useful. Again, this is just an introduction. Again, I haven't sat on these toilets. I haven't taken advantage and used these toilets and uh, I haven't bought any of these toilets. I have a porta potty and I've used that and I have had a lot of success with that. And I have a ceramic uh, foot flush toilet in my uh, Rockwood Mini Light travel trailer. It works pretty nicely. And of course that goes directly to a black tank. These operate on a different principle, okay? If you like the principle, if you could understand the principle, if you believe in the principle, uh, you know, some folks out there don't like the idea of churning poop and uh, doing stuff like that. That's why they have one that has a button. Click. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> From Fort Worth, Texas, thanks for checking out my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Leave your kind and friendly comments below. Tell me which one you thought was fantastic or have you used and said, hey, this is the best thing since, you know, my home toilet, okay? Just saying.
Okay. And don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share this channel. Gracias. Muchas gracias. And check out my uh, website, my photographic website, specific to RV and travel adventures. And that link is one of these corners. I always forget which corner it is. Is that one or is it that one? It's one of these corners. And you can check out my website. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to ring the bell for future notifications, future notificaciones. Muchas gracias a todos a ustedes. From Fort Worth, Texas, Hope you're doing fantastic. I'm looking forward to doing some, uh, after winter's over, uh, doing some uh, uh, RVing. I'm very excited. This summer, I'm gonna be going all over the place. Left, right, I'm planning to go to New Mexico, Colorado, maybe even you know all over Texas as usual. And it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. Hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> and I am considering, seriously considering, a composting toilet. Uh, which one do you think I should get? Which one do you think I should replace my Dometic ceramic foot flush toilet in my RV with. Which one do you think? Or should I just buy the cheapest one for $2.19 just stick it in the corner and use that one and call it good and uh, whatever. There are options out there. Cheap to rather complex and rather, com you know, you know, expensive. Okay. There are options out there. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Hope you're doing fantastic. Thanks for checking out my channel. Again, th don't forget to ring the bell for future notifications, for future notificaciones from Fort Worth, Texas. Did I say that already? Yes, I did. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.